Common sewing machine problems. Clips from Austin Resource Recovery's Fix It at Home online repair series. So, common sewing machine problem. Um, you start, you've gotten your machine threaded and you're ready to go. And then all of a sudden you get this like terrifying, scary knot at the bottom of your machine. And it happens very often. So don't be afraid. It happens to me all the time still. Um, and so you may have to pull your fabric out of the machine because it has created this knot. Um, or like on this machine, like if I tried to sew with the presser foot up, it would say error. And so if you get an error or something like that, then um, it, that's how you'll know that maybe there's something wrong with your bobbin thread, especially if it has this big crazy knot at the bottom. So if that happens, the first thing I say is rethread your entire machine, um, top and bottom. Take out the bobbin, get a new bobbin, because sometimes, like if there's uh, not in the bobbin itself before you put it in the casing, it can cause that. Um, and you want to make sure that it's installed correctly. Clean any debris from the machine. So when you take out your bobbin, make sure there's no gunk in there while you're cleaning it up. Um, sometimes machines just don't like certain types of thread. So if you have a thread that's too thick or a thread that is synthetic or something like that, and your machine just doesn't like it, it'll just keep uh, nodding. So maybe try a different type of thread or um, try a new needle. Maybe your needle got bent or something like that. So, but I think most of the time, if you have a crazy knotted bobbin like that, if you just rethread your machine, it should fix it. Um, if your stitches look bananas, then that's going to be a tension problem. And tension can be uh, confusing <laughs> because it's basically how tight your machine is holding the thread or how loosely it's holding the thread. So if you can see here at the bottom, if you can see the bobbin thread on the top of your fabric, then your tension is too tight. If you're getting loose kind of bubbles in your top thread on the top of your fabric, then it's too loose. So my suggestion is to find the tension dial on your machine. So for example, on this one, I'm at a two. And if my stitches were looking crazy, I would switch down to a one and try it. And then if they looked more crazy, then I would switch up to a three. So just try and do it within one because the tension is really sensitive. And so you don't want to jump from like a two to a six. You just want to do one one way or one the other. And so that's um, a way to kind of fix that if your stitches look wonky. Um, another way is to clean the bobbin casing. Sometimes that can help. And like I said, adjusting the tension one thought one uh, thought <laughs> one notch at a time. So when it's correct, you should be able to see both in a nice thick pattern. And I think this is a good example of it being too loose, where you can see the bottom thread, the bobbin thread on top, like a lot. Then you know that your thread, your tension. Um, a note on cleaning and tools. So, and once you're sewing, every time you're sewing fabric, there are holes that the gunk get down into. You might have like, have, it's, well, they look like dust bunnies in your machine. Um, and so each machine has a little sewing machine tool. You can also buy these on Amazon and it looks just like a tiny little screwdriver. Um, and you can take off your bobbin casing you can take your needle out and things like that, but you'll need this tiny little guy to do that. So I do have a video here. If you just got a machine at Goodwill and everything else is not working, um, it could be that um, it just needs some love. It needs some cleaning. And so, or if it's been, you know, a hand-me-down from a family member who sews all the time, then you might want to just give it a good clean. And it's really easy. You basically just um, go in where the bobbin casing is and just clean out the gunk in there. Um, and like I said, it looks like a little dust bunny. You would see it. But that's what these little tools are for that come with your machine. And there is a video here if it gets to that point where you feel like maybe it needs to be cleaned. Thank you for watching.